G'day guys, welcome back to Spaces Arcade and today I'm going to show you how do you get your VPX tables, how to get the ROMs, how to get the back classes, how to get all that stuff that I talked about in the first video, the start here video. If you haven't seen that video guys, I suggest stop this one, go check that out first because it talks about VPX of the ecosystem. I explain all the terminology and all that terminology will make this video be more sense to you. If you have watched it, welcome back. Guys, if you want all these things, the tables, the ROMs and so forth, it is dead easy through this virtual pinball spreadsheet web app. <laughs> it's a mouthful. Uh, all the tables are here, guys. And look, you, you know this, that you can't put all the tables and they can't mix the ROMs together with the tables, guys. It's very much like the video MAME world. You can't put the, the emulator with the, uh, with the games and it's the same in VPX. So all the any packs that are out there, guys, that have all the tables and the ROMs together, it's, it, it's, it's not right, it's not effectively legal, and you should be downloading them separately. Now, you can do that through here, because even though this looks like it has everything here, what it has is actually the links embedded behind each one of these to a particular table, and you can go get it from the source. So if I'm in Godzilla here, for example, guys, and I hit that, it's gonna take me to VP Universe, which is the authorized place for this particular table has been uploaded to, and this is just the table file. It's not the ROM file, but it's the table file. You just download it, guys, bang, there you go. I'm gonna talk about the different tables in a moment and explain what all these tags are and stuff at the bottom. But ultimately here, that's the table, if I chose that table, cool. If I go down and flick down here, it's got in the back classes I could pick up. And here's the ROM. So the ROM's available from VP Forum. So I click there and I can download the ROM. Well, with the ROM and the table loaded up in VPX, guys, I'm playing. Playing pinball, it's that easy. Not, not difficult at all. And if you've been rummaging around in the forums to try and find the, the tables, even though you can do that, and it's still perfectly okay, this goes across all the different sites and it's got everything nicely contained, it's got everything tagged. It is an amazing and awesome and useful piece of software. It's got every single table, VPX table in here, guys, but it's not about going through and collecting them all because A, there's just hundreds of tables. It's just it's just not the right thing. Well, it's not just the right thing to do. It's just a silly thing to do to just go and try and collect them all. Go through here and choose the tables that you like. And, you know, if you do them individually and download them and you can be part of the discussion uh, wherever the table, particular table is hosted, you know, thank the authors, guys. These guys spend an awful amount of time your own personal time putting these things together. This stuff is free, remember, you know? VPX is a, is a project, it's not a commercial uh, program. And so good old Uncle Paulie, who also does awesome tables, uh, yeah, thank the guy uh, as you download and then enjoy the table. So if we go back to here, and I just showed you how just dead easy it is to download. At the moment, this is all sorted by the latest tables. And guys, these tables get released and come out um, it, in this spreadsheet pretty much as soon as they hit the forum. So I, I generally go to a forum, see a new table, and I come here and it's already here. So I don't know who's updating this at the back end, but they're doing an absolute magical job. If I go up here into this little disclaimer area, um, it's actually got Ducks Retro and Freish, is it? These guys here, clearly the legends behind it. I don't know if they're also doing all the updates, but whoever is, hats off to you, because yeah, it keeps this thing up to date. So yeah, this has got all the new, t new tables currently and all under here, um, the rest of the games are all currently sorted by last updated. So yeah, these are gonna be all the most recent games that have just been released. X-Files, I own that table. And now I can grab it and enjoy it in VR. Bam, download, read up. It's that easy, guys. It is that easy. Don't have the ROM, flick down. Grab the ROM. So 
What are all these other things in here? So let's just touch on that now while we're just here on this page. So we can see we've got uh, the pup packs. There's no URL against this particular one. Uh, we've got an alt colour, so that would be for the um, DMD, for colour DMD. And again, if you watched the last video, you'd know all about that and how that uh, can be added to VPX. And what else we've got? We've got alternate sound as well. So there's one alternate sound that you can get from VP Universe. There's also one here from Pin Sound. So that's an external link. And, you know, I trust um, any of the files from VP Universe and VP Forums and Pinball and Nirvana and so forth. And obviously this is the Pin Sound community. So that's also any, I mean, the links on here generally I would, I would trust because the guys that are behind this would put them on if they were malicious. But yeah, you, know, you make your own decision about where you want to get things. Like there's a mega link here for the wheel art. Uh, there's point of view files. If I go to this little information box, it says how to open your table in VPX and import a point of view. And that there is for different layouts, for um, layback and different settings that people have already done for the table, but which you may like and you can uh, import those in, don't have to, but that's just an extra thing you can do, guys. Uh, wheel art uh, for for your front end that you might be using. A topper file, so again, if you're using the uh, pin-up front end, then one of your screens actually may be a topper right across the top of your screen. Well, you can go to one of these uh, topper files and you've got a topper video, guys, that you can uh, you know put onto your topper. On your, on your pin cab, or maybe you just got an extra double screen uh, on the desktop. All of those things are possible, guys. It's, it's all here. And, you know, when, when we go in the X-Files table here, uh, X-Files um, selection, it's got all the different versions that have been created. It looks like this one here was included uh, different uh, art. Uh, and even this one here is modified, I can see with the art there, so it's just did some different versions. But the main thing when you're selecting, well, which version do you want? Um, well, there's a couple of things. Well, first of all, you can see down the bottom we have all these little tags. So let's go through those tags so you know what they are. Definitely watch my first video, the Start Here video, because some of the stuff will make more sense uh, to you guys that have watched that. But uh, so this one here, um, this particular table has, is a hybrid, which means it supports both VR and normal. Um, it also specifies that it's a VR table as well. We've got full single screen guides, and that's for the people that have vertical uh, monitors and play their, their VPX pinball that way. And that particular format, the, the uh, full single screen, uh, gives you the back glass and the table and a sort of a pseudo 3D view, awesome for vertical. It's a really nice setup. Um, you might have that setup and not use VR, right? Uh, this one's a mod of a particular table before, so it's typically a table that's been then added to with some specific uh, extra features. Uh, and it, this one supports surround sound feedback, which we didn't talk about in the first video. But uh, yeah, any table that's got uh, surround sound feedback means that the table author has considered how the sound will move uh, and, and support the surround sound feedback that's natively built into Visual Pinball X. Uh, and that allows the ball to make it sound like it's moving around the table or your pop bumpers feel like they're going off at the back with your pin cab because you'd actually have transducers in your, in your cabinet with some amplifiers and have that all set up in a pin cab situation and have that surround sound going around for sort of like, they call it poor man's doff. Uh, instead of getting uh, real solenoids and all the rest of it to do that, you just use these transducers to mimic that sound, guys. And then you've got a nice feel on the cabinet and you've got some feedback. So all of that's possible with the uh, surround sound feedback. We've got M Fozzy Physics. If you see that, you know it's going to have awesome physics, guys, and that, those physics are so good. Um, I can't fold them. And I absolutely love them. So if you've got a table, though, that hasn't been updated, some of the older tables that maybe don't have the end fuzzy tag, guys, well, then you can see that, right? And you'll know what to expect. The physics will be a little different. Not bad, but just not awesome. So this is why this is so good with the tags and this is why it's so useful for you to go through and just choose and be selective about the tables then you'll get the best possible pinball, uh, pinball, virtual pinball or visual pinball experience if you choose your tables yourself 
choose the options that you, all tables with the options that you like the best. Uh, fleep sounds, so there's awesome mechanical sounds that were, that were released under fleep. So if you see the fleep uh, tag there, that means you're going to have really good realistic mechanical sounds underneath the actual table sounds themselves. It's also got lookup tables for uh, lighting changes, and so that means this this particular table maybe it, it depends on the table, but usually it's like the magna save buttons on a table that doesn't have magna save, and you choose to hit the magna save button, and it changes the, all the colouring in one instant, and it might just change it in different shades, warmer, darker, um, sort of. Uh, black and white or other um, like black light sort of glowing type colors so that's what the lookup table uh, would do so yeah so when you see this guys like I look at this and I go oh cool VR yeah in Fozzy Feathers awesome fleep sounds for me those things are really really important and also the surround sound feedback although I don't have surround sound feedback on my little controller uh, for my VR uh, PC so that's not a win for me but it might be for you and so I would click on that table and then go and download it, right? And then if I didn't have the ROM, then I would just flick down here and I would go get the ROM from uh, VP Forums and download it from there. Of course, you need to be a uh, just a free member of both of those sites. There's no cost involved, remember, guys. It's non-commercial. I don't know how much easier you can make this. <laughs> it's just too, too good. And again, with all those other cool options, again, they're options. You don't have to necessarily have them. You get yourself started just with the table and the ROM. Wow. Um, you've got other things in here. What, what else do we have that we didn't talk about there in, in that last example? Some of them actually include artwork and include the B2S back glass in the table file itself. You're never going to have the ROMs included, but you may have these other elements included where the table author has gone the extra mile and gone, OK, well, I'm going to make the table, but I'm also going to make a back glass that I'm, you know, I want specifically to go with my table. Um, if there's not a back class and you need a, and if you do want to uh, show a back class, when you can show a back class on your normal um, 16 by 9 monitor, you don't have to have a, a um, you don't have to have a pin cab to show a back class. You can just show a back class on the side on your single monitor. Uh, but otherwise, if you've got a pin cab, yeah, you you want to have a, a back class up the top. Well, this one also has B2S just on its own there, which means that it has a, a link to another back glass that you can download. Uh, it's also got a reference to 4K, so it'll have 4K texture support. Uh, there's FX3 there, so interestingly, this one's actually got a link somewhere down here for uh, the Pimple FX3, is that right? That can't be right. You've got Zen Studio, so yeah, cool. So are they going to out externally? Does that actually work? It does. <laughs> it goes out to, to Zen Studios. So I'm not sure if they're going to bring all of Zen's tables. I mean, you could... This is a beta that is, is they've, they've got in there, and maybe they're going to extend it to just all virtual pinball. But right now, it covers everything in VPX, so that's interesting. And of course, that's FX3, and that's not the latest FX, so they may not be keeping that up to date. Um, what else, guys? What else do I need to cover there in the little tag? I've got a, a pup pack on here as well available, the wheel, the topper, and we've got rules for this one as well. Now the rules, in fact, in the instruction cards are pretty cool. So if we go down here, here we go to rules. If I go to VP Universe, then this has got a instruction card. I'll have a look at that. And the cool thing here, again, if you're using pin up and you've got like multiple screens, one of your screens might even be a screen uh, in front of your lockdown bar. Where you could put the instructions like on a little you know a tiny little lcd or maybe you've got an extra spare lcd up on your back glass uh you can put the instructions up there guys so many cool things and you don't have to dig around and you don't have to guess <laughs> the other cool thing actually in um, vp universe in particular if you choose one of their tables like this vr room here so this is a really cool new VR room, look at this awesome swords. <laughs> That's a great little, uh, great little room. 
And when you're in here, um, it's actually got the VP version, which is really good. So this one says 10.8 GL beta required. If you watch that first video, the start here video, guys, you know exactly what that is, right? And you know exactly where to get it from the GitHub. I showed all that in the last video. And so, yeah, if you're unsure which version the table is compatible with, then you can check there really easily, uh, which is a nice thing. That actual VP version would be nice if it was included in here. And they don't have that currently because I think they're relying on you to go, uh, go to the site, which is fair enough. But if I, if I had a suggestion of the only thing I can think of that's potentially missing, it might be that. You've also got these different view uh, modes here, guys, as well. So if you don't like seeing them all laid out like this and you want to see a quicker list then you can hit the table view and then you've got a nice short form list so you can go through and scan the ones that you want put it back to grid and even a little pin cab preview it'd be nice if they could get the uh, side art on these pin cabs at some point maybe team up with the the vr launcher uh, guides because those ones automatically download the side art for the little 3d models which again i showed in the last video uh, as a launcher option, they could potentially uh, use that if those two groups could collaborate together. So yeah, so you've got all that. And then um, also you have the ability to change it on this main page here. Uh, you could have them all by the, the pin cab preview. You could have them all by the list or then back to that grid. You can also do a export of the information if you want to import that into your front end if you're using pinup popper or pibble x again those terms explained in the last video uh, we've got a kids friendly tag over here just while i see that and uh, yeah and then last updated well you could sort that by alphabetical if you wanted to and then just go through there or you could go i want to see all the tables starting with g um, and then I want to see the last updated in G. It's just so good. This is so awesome. And uh, let me put that back to all. Uh, and now we're still on last updated. And then you can do things like features. So, you know, I could say, well, I want to see all the, uh, the VR tables. So I choose VR and it's the last updated. So these are the most recent. And every single table here that I see is a VR support. How awesome is this? How awesome. If you wanted to have a particular theme, guys, maybe you're a, uh, uh, an alien sort of person. Well, now you've got all the tables. <coughs> Attack from Mars. Big Bang Bar. What an awesome table that is. Do it by theme if you want, guys. Um, and if I kept the VR one there, actually, then that would also do both, of course. If I select VR, and so that's now these tables are all alien tables and all VR tables. I love it. I love it. Manufacture, if you want to do all the stern tables. Are you getting it, guys? Are you getting it? I hope you haven't been trundling around trying to find tables and ROMs individually by using the forum nav navigation. I mean, you can get around it, but every forum, you know, each of the forums are different. And this just, this just combines it all and makes it easy. You can see, I've got the Scorbit one. This one actually supports that Scorbit um, high score um, saving as well. So, yeah, you can just see everything that each one supports. I, I was I, I was stunned when I when I was and I, I've known about this for a while now, but when I first saw it, I was like, "What? Why doesn't anyone? Well, not anyone. Why doesn't a lot of people know about this? Well, you guys do now. So, if you haven't known about it before, now you do. Authors." When you do it this way and you download and you try out a particular table, you might find that, that you love that particular table, the style or whatever it is, 
and then you can see the author um, and so if you then flick through I see good old third access he is awesome and he's done a whole bunch of tables so if you like his tables then bang just come in here and put his name in and you can see all the tables he's done his firepower is just so good it is so awesome oh, it's got G5K it's also involved in that I'll slide arc as well and let's not forget everyone else there's an Uncle Paulie one there as well and it's the third axis one as well you might want to try either one of those this one has uh, VR in it though specifically and also has the back glass it's a joy it's a joy and if you wanted to do it by year, you could, uh, uh, by number of players, and if it's not broken or not. Um, we don't have any author in there, that's why we're showing no table. So yeah, you can select all those options. <laughs> and if you uh, want to join the uh, Discord forum, you can. They run a little weekly competition, a weekly challenge. Get involved with that, but also in that Discord, Forum, a lot of the people that uh, frequent VP Universe, VP Forum, people in Nirvana and other places go to this Discord forum. There's stacks of channels and talk and discussion and assistance and help and sharing ideas and all of that stuff is available in the Discord forum as well. So, you know, 2024, guys, you know, that's where we are. And when this video was rec recorded, if you, you know, again, if you watch that first video of mine, the start here, you've got the baller installer that was done by Nailbuster. You can just load that up and get it installed. Even though there's so much, um, and, and it's not really complexity, there's a comprehensiveness to Visual Pinball as a project. There's so many cool little add-ons to give extra features. It doesn't make it complex. Again, once you understand what those things are, and then you've got, like, front ends to the forums for the tables and all the individual pieces and you know in, in this application it's it's easy it's actually easy to get vpx going and now as we go forward and especially for me personally with vr it's so awesome to go in here and just sit, find vr tables and download them and experience them so i can't sing enough praises to the guys that did this and it's so nicely designed it's so logical. It's just beautiful. So, yeah. And they've got other things here for apps and parts. I don't know what they're going to do in the future, but they've got their ambitious plans for the future. Um, so, yeah, guys. I just... Yeah. I don't think we have to say anything more. Hop in here. Find the table you want. Download it. You know, get your ROM. And... Uh, then, oh, this one's interesting because it's a stern one, so it's taken to the stern page. So again, but it's going to take you there to the code and the and the, and the ROM that you need for the uh, big buck. So it's all there. It's all there. All right, guys. Well, I hope you found that helpful, and I hope this gets you zooming on in your VPX journey if you're just starting or if you haven't started yet. Get in there, guys. Have some fun with VPX. It's not hard once you know. If you've got any um, comments or questions, please leave them down below. Again, please consider subscribing. A lot of cool stuff in all the pinball and arcade stuff, both real and virtual and VR, all coming this way from Spacey's Arcade. So join the fun. Make sure you get into the, my Discord forum too, which is also in the link. Hope to see you guys in there. Uh, until the next video, ciao for now.